All right, here we are live at the Mind Dripping Studio. I have Ben here helping me out, having some fun. Ben just picked an outstanding beverage of fine whiskey. Do you think? Do you feel like that was a great choice? Yeah. You feel like it was a free choice? Yeah. No, it was not a free choice. No. At all. No. Because our choice is on our own. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, marketing, advertising, they're always working on you, trying to convince you to do what they want you to do. And we can, we fall prey to that, right? As soon as our, we go on a little autopilot, we make their decision, right? Even your friends always convince you to go to their movie, do their thing, right? So uh, I know you probably don't believe, do you believe me? I'm buying into it. Yeah, okay, well, not 100%, that's fine. No, because I have proof here. No, I came prepared here at the Mind Tripping Show. And that is right here. I have everything that I need. Now, a um, little experiment, that's fine. Uh, I have some index cards, I have some envelopes, and I have this purple envelope, you'll understand why. Now I have two sets of cards, five, 10 total, five repeat. And the first five are Kit Kat, Twix, Reese's, Almond Joy, and Snickers. Now, do you have a favorite one of these? Yes. Of course you do, most people would. And if I try to get you to change your mind, it'd be almost impossible. That's why I have to use advertising and marketing to get you to change your mind. To, to pick what I want you to pick, okay? okay? But first I have to decide what I want you to pick. So uh, let's do that now. And uh, it's always about, it's also in marketing, it's a little bit about gender, it's about uh, your age, it's about you know how I perceive you uh, social, so, socially or economically. So it's all of those factors. Like for instance, uh, like no, this one won't work for you, right? Hmm. Give me a favorite number between one and 100. 50. Yeah, it's not gonna work then either. How about, oh, this one I think will work. So I'll show the, uh, here we go. See that? That's what we'll use. Yeah, you can look, that doesn't matter. Yeah, you can look. Okay. I mean, you, you, the reason I have you look is because you're, you're not gonna know what you're picking, okay? Because I have to hide these five will be hidden in envelopes, these envelopes in fact, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and put these in the envelopes like that. And this one will go in, okay? And then this one will go in. Now, right now, uh, the envelopes are just meant so you won't be able to know where each one is, okay? All right. So it, it, it's in my favor, but there's a little bit more to the envelopes, and I'm gonna show you what they are. Boom, here we go. I mix them up so you can't keep track of anything. But look, they have clever, look at that, little clever marketing ploys on them, little jingles, little sayings, little things to be said. Now I'm gonna arrange these. There we go. All right, now, if you are to pick one now, it would be very difficult. Do you know why? I'm gonna tell you why. It's too many, too many choices, too many. And it's been shown that if you have too many choices, people become stuck. It's either they're either unable to make a choice or they just make a choice that they don't care about. So we have to do it by making some unchoices. Ooh, unchoices. That means we're gonna eliminate a couple, because if, if you had a bunch of jellies you had to pick from, and one of them was onion flavored. It'd be easy to go, not the onion flavor. Move that along, right? Sure. So we're going to eliminate two. Which two would you like to eliminate? This one? Yes, the closest one seems to... <laughs> no, it did. It seemed like I'm trying to give it to you. And you're like, no, I don't. if you're trying to give it to me, I reject it. All right, that's great. Give me another one. Another one to eliminate. Um, that one. Yes, the far and farthest away. Who wants to reach that far? I seems... Think. Yeah, I don't want to go that. I don't want to work that hard, right? Yeah. yeah. This is America. Give it to me easy. My choices. Now, we arrange these. Here we go. All right, that is perfect right there. Now, all right, now we make this. This is the perfect amount of choices. Three is the perfect amount. Think about it. Small, medium, large, good, better, best. That's what everyone tries to strive for because three seems like a lot of choices, but not too many choices. Which one do you want to keep? Oh, Rich. Know creamy chocolate. Yeah, because who wants tastes like a million dollars? Because I don't even know what that, what's a, that sounds nasty. I put money in my mouth. No, that doesn't work, does it? No. Like and this other one, well, we don't even care what that says. Now, comes down to this. I want you to go ahead and open it yourself. Okay. All right, open it up, show the camera, just like you would in real life. And it's set, whoa, wait a minute. What were you going for? What was this one? Uh, Reese's. Yeah. Well, that seemed like that way, but it's all about the marketing. <laughs> all about the marketing. Get that face. Get that face. He's stunned. Now, it gets better. It gets better because I was so sure that you would pick Kit Kat. Remember my bag? The only thing in my bag is a Kit Kat bar. Mine. Zone. 
Thank you for coming to the Mind Tripping Theater here at the bar.